When it comes to maturing your security posture, there are several needs we tend to hear over and over. How can we protect against the latest attacks when attackers move faster than AV signatures can even be updated? How can we gather information about what is happening in our environment and what can we do if we need to respond? Whether you are just starting your security journey or have an experienced security team, it's important to be in the mindset of maturing your security. VMR Carbon Black Endpoint Standards is, is a VMR Carbon Black Endpoint Standard is a next-gen AV and endpoint detection response or EDR solution that protects your organization along multiple layers of prevention with robust visibility and response capabilities baked into a central cloud console. In this maturing your security solution path, we will explore the basics of cybersecurity and how you can use the VMR Carbon Black Cloud Console to modernize and mature security in your environment. In order to demonstrate how maturing security works, let's first talk about what the goal of maturing your security is, to prevent attacks. Most adversarial threats like ransomware will follow a multi-staged attack approach. This begins with initial access or through the cognitive attack loop phases of reconnaissance and infiltration. During this phase, attackers select a target and gather relevant information such as vulnerabilities, network topology, employee information, and so forth. Information gathered during this stage can then be used to infiltrate or deliver an attack. Take, for example, attacks like TrickBot. Uh, they'll often leverage a spear phishing campaign as an entry or infiltration point into a network. You've probably seen a few different phishing emails. Oftentimes, they'll leverage a, a malicious attachment like this one here, which has a malicious macro embedded in Word. You can see here that we've applied prevention. In this case, TrickBot is a piece of known malware. Signature-based prevention is used against the lower hanging fruits of those known malware attacks. It's the first layer of prevention included within VMR Carbon Black Next Gen AV. Once access is attained, adversaries move into the next phase of the attack sequence, maintain and manipulate. The attacker is using their initial access to continue to approve their position and move forward with their goals. One of the best ways of doing this is doing things like scraping credentials or using other existing binaries in the environment like PowerShell. A trusted program like PowerShell is not blocked by traditional signature-based AV. It's typically a good program. Most IT people use it almost every day if they have a Windows environment uh, for legitimate purposes. But attackers can leverage it for malicious intent as well. This attack that we're going to run here is leveraging both PowerShell and Mimikatz in an uh, attempt to uh, actually scrape credentials and, and gain further access in the environment. You can see once again, we've applied prevention. Carbon Black is able to apply prevention to even things that are typically trusted if it is exhibiting malicious behaviors that we don't want occurring in our environment with our behavioral based prevention and detection. Consider how a traditional AV would handle this scenario. Again, with Carbon Black's next-gen AV, we can actually specify those behaviors that we don't want trusted applications like PowerShell to exhibit in the environment. And we can apply prevention when those unwanted behaviors occur. During the final attack phases of execute and exfiltrate, the attacker is executing their end goals. For an example, an attacker at this stage may be encrypting your data, holding it for ransom, or even exfiltrating that sensitive data for malicious use. Whatever the attacker's end goal is, we don't want them to be successful. One of the biggest concerns we see is ransomware, and for good reason because of how costly and destructive this type of attack can be. Ransomware such as Ryuk and Conti will attempt to distribute across the network and encrypt or destroy data for maximum impact. In recent years, ransomware has shown a drastic increase in both commonality and the level of destruction on end user systems. This stage is often detrimental. Embedded in PowerShell, we have stripped the ransomware signature from this binary in order to highlight behavioral based ransomware protection. This imitates the situation of a zero day ransomware attack. When we visit the Carbon Black console, we can dig further into how we saw those ransomware-like behaviors and prevented this piece of modified ransomware. Our prevention is enabled through context with the controls to defend against attacks from no malware to zero days. 
Through the demonstration, we have successfully showcased how Carbon Black Cloud can defend against the three different cognitive attack loop stages, recon and infiltrate, maintain and manipulate, and execute and exfiltrate. From here, let's pivot to the responder's perspective and review what the CBC is notifying us of. The alerts page displays events related to attacks and suspicious activity. Alerts show what device was alerted on, a high-level overview of the reason for the alert, as well as a severity score, which is the number in red. This ranges from 1 to 10, 1 being lowest priority and 10 being highest mission critical. Expanding the alert shows additional details such as process behaviors, reputation, among other information. We can also dive into a visual depiction of the events that occurred within the alert. The visual depiction is called the alert triage. It displays events that occurred during an attack in an easy to read and digest visual format. Each node on the tree represents an individual event that occurred during the attack sequence. In this visualization, we have a few different process tree branches. The process tree delivers actionable information in a correlated way, so we don't have to individually navigate to each event or indicator of compromise. This can save administrators time in looking at that correlated alert information versus separate events or alerts for each individual IO. The red shield icon on a node indicates that prevention was applied. Let's take a closer look at what occurred with the TrickBot attack by looking at the additional process details on the right. This prevention occurred due to reputation. Carbon Black Cloud assigns reputation based on known bad signatures, company assigned reputation, as well as cloud analytics. We can see that for this binary, the reputation is no malware and due to this prevention was applied. Let's pivot back to the alerts page to look at some of the other attacks that we ran. The second attack we ran involved PowerShell, leveraging that for malicious behaviors. Note that the reputation for PowerShell is trusted whitelists, which is expected. In most cases, we expect PowerShell to run normally without prevention as it is integral to many IT activities. The power of Carbon Black is to define the behaviors that we want to prevent while allowing PowerShell to run when it should. We can prevent those behaviors that we don't want, say like scraping sensitive memory from LSAS, for example. You can see here, we can see the behaviors that PowerShell was exhibiting. Again, we can apply prevention based on those behaviors uh, and apply prevention even to those things that are trusted whitelisted if they are exhibiting behaviors that we don't want in our environment. Let's take a deeper look at the final attack we ran, the emulated zero-day ransomware attack. Through our Nader AMSI scripting integration, Carbon Black Cloud is uniquely able to analyze and prevent scripts prior to allowing the binary to execute in your environment, ultimately reducing your overall risk. Even while applying prevention, administrators can still get visibility into what an attacker or attack was attempting to do. Additional ransomware prevention layers include preventing accessing the master boot record, deletion or modification of volume shadow copies, and we deploy ransomware or canary files to track and kill processes attempting to encrypt, modify, or delete our files. We can apply prevention to anything exhibiting those behaviors, even something that has a reputation of not listed or never seen before, like a zero day. Now that we've seen some of the differences in prevention Carbon Black can provide, we can speak more to implementation and usage of the Carbon Black Cloud. A key advantage of the Carbon Black Cloud is that we want to shift as far left as possible in identifying risk. When moving to a next-gen AV solution, one of the areas where risks typically get put on the customer is with malware identification. Many next-gen AV vendors need to wait for malware to execute in order to see and classify the file. But what happens if the cloud is unreachable or does not respond quickly enough and no malware is allowed to run in your environment? We proactively detect any malware pre-existing on the system even before it is run to reduce your risk of breach. We can categorize and quarantine it all before someone has the opportunity to double click. Even dormant malicious binaries can be detected by a reputation engine. Note that in this alert right here, we can see that a known virus was detected. It did not run, prevention wasn't applied, but we're alerting you that it is existing in the environment. And admins can take action from here. Again, they can quarantine, categorize, delete it, 
before it even has the chance to execute. Note that in this case, unlike the other piece of no malware we reviewed, the reputation is not listed. It's actually not found in virus total, uh, but we classify it as a known virus. This isn't unusual. It's very easy for adversaries to change a signature. All it takes is a small change for the thumbprint for a binary to be different. What is happening here is our machine learning techniques statically analyze the payload. We can use machine learning to see those variants of known bad binaries or polymorphic attacks to categorize it as a known virus, even though the signature may be slightly different. Along the lines of shifting away from a traditional AV, a common use case we see is USB sticks being used as an attack delivery method. As silly as it sounds, some users who come across an unknown USB device somewhere like a parking lot may plug it into their device. These can have embedded malware in them. In the base level of our solution, we enable the ability to block read, write, and execution off of unapproved USB devices. In maturing your security with Carbon Black, we want to give you the ability to replace what traditional AV is doing in your environment today and expand that prevention, detection, and response capabilities leagues further. Let's take a look at some of the other capabilities and differences in the Carbon Black Cloud. Let's take a closer look at some of the other capabilities and differences in the Carbon Black Cloud. On login, you will land on the dashboard page. The dashboard provides unified insights on environment security. This includes information on endpoints, workloads, and even your containerized applications. The dashboard gives those insights into what types of attacks are occurring at what frequency and associating that with known vulnerabilities. If there's something that an attacker can exploit, we can see this on our dashboard and take action. Widgets are dynamic as well, so you can easily pivot into items of interest for further information. I want to highlight the threat reports widget in particular. Within Carbon Black is our threat analysis unit that constantly researches and tests the newest threats. Right from the dashboard, you have access to reports on new attacks that our threat analysis unit has seen. You can also search for events related to that threat directly in your environment as well. Data retention for non-alert events is 30 days by default. You essentially have a 30-day recording of your environment that you can search across. Attackers have been historically able to move faster than most security teams. We want to give that visibility into what new attacks are doing with the ability to see if these may be present in your environment. In our full threat analysis unit reports, you can also see how our solutions can prevent these attacks as well. With attackers innovating and evolving, it's important for security teams to have the capabilities to do the same. This aligns with our overall idea of maturing your security. Out of the box, Carbon Black gives the ability to prevent malware and ransomware alongside behavioral-based prevention as we saw in the attack examples earlier. Three policy groups are included out of the box, monitored, standard, and advanced. Standard is meant to be the day one production viable policy that multiple levels of with multiple levels of protection designed to protect you against bad actors as we saw in those earlier attack scenarios. Beyond the out of the box policies, you can create and customize policies and rules. We know that people's environments are different and even user groups within an environment can behave differently. The way an end user works in HR or finance is fundamentally different than the way a developer or engineer works on their endpoint. You have the ability for control and customization to allow end users and endpoints to behave how they should while also increasing what you can prevent. If your organization has begun to mature beyond just blocking malware and ransomware and into a more strategic framework like Zero Trust, Carbon Black does have the ability to enable this. The nature of Zero Trust is to assume everything is malicious and only trust what you know. You can enable this through policy creation and customization. For example, you have the controls to specify that any untrusted applications are not allowed to run. This can be a scary shift or a big uplift to have that deny all model. What we give beyond the capabilities of customization is the operational confidence to see how policy changes can affect your environment. You can back test rules before they're put in place to see how this would affect your environment, how many events are related to that rule, and even click into any of those events if they do exist. It takes some of that mystery out of customizing your security solution. Traditionally, changes made in security have been those of uh, 
cross your fingers and hope for the best type of workflow. Little visibility is granted into how a change you make can positively or negatively affect your environment. So with, again, within our policies, we give the ability to test both current and proposed policy rules. This will query the environment across the 30 days of event retention and associate this rule with any events that would be impacted. This allows for implementation of new rules with confidence. Today, we have discussed how Carbon Black can secure an environment through multiple layers of detection and prevention. The traditional signature-based prevention that can detect and prevent those known bad binaries, machine learning, zero-touch AMSI scripting prevention, and behavioral-based prevention. We've also gone through some of the additional capabilities for visibility and policy control. With Carbon Black, you have that ability for maturing your security and preventative capabilities while giving the operational capability to implement this higher level of security. Carbon Black provides security across endpoints, workloads, and containers. Our cloud solutions can consolidate endpoint detection response, next-gen AV, vulnerability assessment, workload security, container application security, and audit remediation capabilities into a single agent and single console, removing those silos between both technologies and teams. Thank you for taking the time with me to go through the idea of maturing your security and how Carbon Black can align to this.